In this video, we'll see about a combinational logic circuit, a half order, how to design that and how we can simulate that in uh, multi-sim. So first we'll see what is a half order here. So half order is basically uh, a system or a combinational circuit where there will be two inputs. So consider X and Y are my two inputs here. And there will be two outputs. One is uh, the carry. If a carry is generated, it will be taken as carry. If no carry is generated, then it will be written as zero. Carry generated, it is one and another output will be sum what is the sum of two numbers so if we see in the table so first one is 0 plus 0 so 0 plus 0 the sum is also 0 and the carry is also 0 no carry is generated here similarly 0 plus 1 it will result sum as 1 and carry as 0 here then 1 plus 0 also similarly sum as 1 and uh, carry as 0 then your uh, last input that is 1 and 1 so it will generate the answer as 1 0 where the sum will be taken as 0 and the carry will be taken as 1. Now the point here is how to design the circuit and implement in the logic uh, gates. So firstly, if we see the what is the express, Boolean expression for S. So the Boolean expression for S is here you can see x dash y plus x y dash. How it is coming? So you just have to consider the points where the value is equals to 1 or the combination that results in 1. We are just writing that as a SOP. Now here x dash y plus uh, x y dash will give you the result as sum and if you look into the carry then it will be your x and y fine x dot y now if we implement this simple boolean expression through a logic then this is how the circuit will look like so x dash y then here x dash x y dash these are given to a or gate and finally we will get the sum here now the carry is easily can be given as just and gate of x and y it will give you carry but there is another way of doing it simply how this is this can be a simplified circuit where instead of writing the boolean expression we can just implement the logic gate here as x x or y so if you see the truth table for the sum and the inputs it it resembles to xor gate so this x dash y plus x y dash is nothing but my xor gate so here the xor gate is given and the circuit can be designed easily like this so x and y are two inputs here these are given to a xor gate this will give my sum and the same input is give connected to a AND gate which will give my carry. Now let us see how we can design this in the multi-sim. So we will go to the multi-sim screen. So what we have to do here as we have done in the previous, we just have to find the generic AND gate. You can use uh, CMOS gates also. But for easier and uh, configuration, I will be using the generic AND and XOR gates. So here I will take one XOR. So XOR 2 input gate is required. So I will put a XOR 2 input gate here. Further what I need, I need an AND gate also. So I will take a AND gate and I uh, will take AND 2 input gate. So here AND 2 input gate and I will keep it here. Okay. Now after this I need a button. Which button which can I can toggle the value to 1 to 0 just cross check it. So for that I will search for interactive uh, digital constant. So this one is the interactive digital constant. So one input I will give here. Again the same input will be given here so because we have two inputs i am considering this as two input this name i will change so this uh, label here i will change this to let's say a or x so whatever you want you can take so this here i will take as x and the second one i will take this as y okay now how the connection will be made so from x one connection is to the xor gate and another input of the XOR gate will be here from the Y, fine. And next to the AND gate, the same inputs will be given. So I will just connect it here in the existing lines. Now this circuit is complete. Next what I need, I need a probe to see whether the output is there or not. So for that I will search for a probe. You can use a LED also, but a probe is probe is easy and visualization is better compared to LED. So I will take a probe and I will take two colors for one for sum, one for carry. So blue one I will take it for sum and then another one I will take as let's say orange or red. I will take orange so orange will be for carry let's say. Now the connections I will make this probe I will connect to the output of the XOR gate that will give me the sum and this orange one I will connect to the output of the AND gate that will give me my carry. Now this uh, table is complete the circuit is complete here. So if I zoom in a little bit it will be better visible. Okay, so I think now it's uh, better visible here. If you want, you can take a snapshot of this and uh, save it for your future reference. So this also you can uh, change the label also you can change here. Let me write here sum. 
and this one I'll write as carry. Okay. So let's say if I simulate the circuit now. So first is zero plus zero. So zero plus zero according to the truth table, zero plus zero sum is zero, carry is zero. So no glowing is there, no probe is not glowing here. Now if I make x equals to one, you can say sum the blue is now glowing. That means sum is one and carry is zero. Similarly, if I make one one. So uh, sorry, if I make it one zero also, then it is glowing. If I make one one, sorry, if I make it one one, then you see sum is zero and carry is one, which is according to my truth table that sum is one. For one one, the sum is carry is zero and the sum is equals sorry carry is one and sum is equals to zero. So that is what we are getting here. So this is a simple one where you can uh, implement a half order using the multi sim. Next video we will see how to implement the full order here. Thank you.